Good morning. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's that real. Oh boy. First day of mowing, boys. First day of mowing season. We uh, we had to go cut up a playground this morning first, so we took the chainsaw and went and cut up a huge wooden playground. And during the dump trail, I got rid of it, and then we loaded up the mowers and got fuel. So now we're headed to the first property of the year. Yep. So there's going to be a bunch of properties. Usually, I start mowing the first or second week of April. Are we in the second or third week of April? What are we in right now? It's the eleventh. I think it's the second week. Of yeah. But it's been a little too wet and uh, soft and squishy. But I believe that we can do a bunch of them. I think that uh, there's still going to be some we're going to have to skip and put off for another week or so. But we're going to go through and start cutting everything we can and uh, get this season kicked off. Yeah, we're all excited. Isn't that right, Billy? Yes, sir. Billy's on Easter vacation for the next two weeks. Oh, so that's Good. how we usually start off every year. The first two weeks I mow with Billy and then he goes back to school. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. It's all over. having issues with the grandstand the engine is running great the brand new engine but engaging the blades it's just it doesn't sound like they're engaging fully it's cutting great but it just doesn't sound like they're engaging fully and when you get in stuff that's even slightly thick it sounds like it's bogging down I don't know that it is but it sounds like it is so I don't know the worst case scenario I'll rip that new engine off that grandstand and I'll throw it on the V-Ride 1 because the V-Ride 1 cuts great. It's an awesome mower, but the engine's getting tired on it. So I hope I don't have to do that, but who knows? I don't know what that Conrad's doing over there. It's like he got confused. First mowing day of the season. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he just has to get his rhythm back down. Who knows? But uh, I'll tell you one thing. We do love those twills so far. They seem to spin a lot less than regular tires do on that V-Ride 2. Another reason why I want to run that V-Ride 1 because I have the other twills, the smaller ones on that machine. So definitely got to see how that one runs too with those twills on it. cut this usually we cut this about three and a quarter to three and a half all season he cut it at three this property here gets out of control fast in the spring conrad's never done springtime mowing with us so he don't know what it's like but so billy started cutting right here going that way with the v-ride 2 at three inches conrad has been cutting this with the toro at three inches as well it's definitely cutting higher than the skag. I know the skag is right where it should be. So that's another issue this grandstand is having. That deck is not where it should be. 
So I just had him drop it down to two and three quarter, and I can already tell from his first pass going that way, he's at the same height now Billy's cutting over here. So he'll just have to finish, go back over the first five passes he did and then continue on. Billy will meet him in the middle and they'll get this side knocked out. cutting this one on the reservation usually we bring 352s to do this one but we had the 252s and the 32 on the trailer today so um yeah but i just cut the front of this across here with the 32. billy's working on this big area over here conrad's in the back let's go uh let's go check out what these boys are doing That's crazy, at some point over the winter, this wall to this barn must have fell out. This is an old barn. There's an old tractor half sunk in the ground over there. It's pretty crazy. But I showed you the other side when we were coming through, all the shingles every year. And every time it gets windy, you get all the shingles and all that shiplap, the pieces of thin freaking wood material, blankets this whole area every time. Um, the sad part is there's a lot of tiny little roof and nails in it so you can't just run it all over we come with this because it has tweels on it but regular mowers like the grandstand that has regular tires and like the 32 that has regular tires will get flat after flat if you run that stuff over but that area on the far side over there that's always a swamp until about june anyway so not worried about that right now i might just come up here at the windstorm and blow all that stuff and blow it all up against the side of the barn and leave it. They don't care either way. This is the only bi-weekly property I have. I do not do bi-weekly cuts, but this is the only exception, this one here. It's a pretty big property. It's a total of three and a half acres. You got this area out here, the side part, an area behind the barn, this whole area here, the whole area behind the house, the side of the house, and then the front that I showed you I cut with the 32. So total of three and a half acres. Sunshine's coming out, feels beautiful out here. Conrad's mowing this one here. He's got to do this part over here, all the way to the back. Billy's down the street mowing a tan one down there, right on the other side of that white one. He's down there mowing. I think he just finished it up. He's blowing it off. And I went down there with a trimmer, edge of sidewalks, driveway, weed whack that one. I weed whack this one. Conrad just has to finish mowing it. Um, Billy will probably Billy will probably get down here before he's done with that part. So then Billy will do this, and they'll both knock this out together. It's nice having this little 32 right here to buzz down the street on with a trimmer and a blower and just knock them out one after the next. Here comes Billy now. So I'll send him over to finish this one here. Take the blower from him. Let him finish it.
Carl Spock got this one wrapped up. Properties are looking good on the next one. Hello? <laughs> Did it scare you? No. Liar. You ever see that? You ever see that TikTok where they? You want to get tipsy? Got in the truck. <laughs> they got in the truck and they drove down the road. and got to the next lawn and they opened it up and their guy was standing in the inside because they forgot about it. Nice. We do it on purpose. We would. Every once in a while, you got to lock Connor in his cage just to remind him, you know, that's where he belongs. Hello, guys. So this is how we finish off any mowing day. We borrowed a trailer from Bow Enterprises, Mr. Spencer Lilly, a tilt deck trailer. And we have my daughter's car on it right there. And we're hauling it to the transmission shop because I don't know, about seven, eight months ago, she had an internal speed sensor go bad inside the transmission and the car would just rev up. And it's a common thing with these Malibu LTZs and so they fixed that and the car's been fine ever since now it's doing it again but on top of that she's also lost reverse so now we're hauling her car to the only transmission shop that i trust where i take all my trucks to but it happens to be like 40 minutes away and it's like the other side of buffalo so it's the only way to get it there without paying a big tow bill is to borrow a trailer from spencer last time me and spencer took his truck and trailer and we hauled it up there but this exact trailer actually, but this time he's too busy, so I just borrowed the trailer. So here we go. Okay, so we're gonna attempt, here's Conrad. We're gonna attempt to take the car off of old Spanx's trailer here. <coughs> what? All right. What'd you say? Tell them to just go until the bed touches the ground. Okay. Hey, just go until the uh, the bed touches the ground. It's Touch touching. It. Touching right now? No. No, it ain't. Keep going. Keep going. Right there, it's touching. She's gonna scrape a wee bit. That's yeah, good. Just a little bit of scrape, but she's off. Let's see where the marks are. Am I gonna miss the trailer? Yeah, keep going, keep going. Keep going, clear. <clears throat> Billy's kinda got a cough. But, I'm doing all right. Had a cough, I was kind of sick for three days. Stuck inside, it was horrible. Hate being inside, everybody knows me. Can't stand being inside, but uh, today we worked and feels good to be outside. I was outside all day and uh, I sounded a little stuffy, but I'm feeling better. Got anything to say, Conrad? Yeah, what, what is, is this what weather? Is this? What is this? What is this? I gotta wipe you guys off. Wipe them off, clean them good. Get the back screen. Oh yeah. We're gonna have him go home, edit the video, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Adios.